Welcome to Scoop Canada, your go-to source for independent and critical news. Before we dive into today's explosive topic, please remember to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. As independent news providers aligned with conservative values, your support is crucial. If you appreciate our content and want to see more, kindly consider donating to us through the link in the description. Your contributions help us continue delivering the unvarnished truth. Now, let's unravel a story of political intrigue and alleged corruption at the highest levels of Canadian government. K. Roach's abrupt resignation from the head of the RCMP's advisory board has sent shockwaves across Ottawa, exposing what many are calling a crisis of accountability and transparency within the Trudeau administration. Roach, an outspoken advocate for policing reform, was initially seen as the perfect candidate to bring about much-needed change. Yet, his tenure was cut short, raising alarming questions about what's really happening behind closed doors. Roach's fiery resignation letter doesn't just resign, it accuses. He points directly at the Trudeau Liberals for political interference, claiming they've stifled genuine reform and oversight within the RCMP. This isn't just about a resignation, it's a glaring red flag about the health of our democratic institutions. Roach's exit isn't just a personal decision, it's a symptom of a larger disease. The Trudeau administration, famed for its sunny ways, is now under the spotlight for what appears to be a stark contrast between their proclaimed ideals and their actions. In his letter addressed to Public Safety Minister Dominic LeBlanc, Roach expresses his profound disappointment. The Management Advisory Board, created in 2019 to guide and oversee the RCMP, seems to be nothing but a facade. Why? Because its financial ties to the RCMP raise serious questions about its independence. Let's talk about what's not being talked about, RCMP contract policing services. Roach was allegedly excluded from key discussions about these contracts, which are currently under review. What does this exclusion mean? It suggests that the Liberals might be uncomfortable with the transparency and reform Roach advocates. Is there something they're hiding? Roach's concerns extend beyond political games. He stressed the urgency of addressing the RCMP's expiring contract policing agreements, which affect 150 municipalities across Canada. But the Liberal government's lack of engagement is worrisome. Are they obstructing practical planning? And if so, why? This isn't just about one man's resignation. It's a stark portrayal of a government reluctant to embrace real oversight and change within one of our key national institutions. The public skepticism is growing, and rightly so. If the Trudeau administration is hesitant to allow arm's-length scrutiny, what does this say about their ability to lead the necessary reforms within the RCMP? As we wrap up, remember this, K. Roach's resignation is more than just a departure. It's a wake-up call. It highlights a growing disconnect between the Trudeau government's public image and its actions. We must demand transparency and accountability from our leaders. This is a pivotal moment, and we must not let it pass quietly. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe for more critical insights and independent reporting.